A beautiful morning here at Princess Island Park and observing Environment Week leading up to World Environment Day, which takes place tomorrow. And lots of interesting initiatives taking place here at home. I'm being joined this morning by Mark Bennett, who's the executive director of the Bow River Basin Council in partnership with Alberta EcoTrust. And this is an interesting project, top of mind for Calgarians, especially this time of year, uh, the floods, which took place nearly two years ago. So this is something that's uh, a new project for you this year. Yes, it is. This is a, a rain gauge provided by Coco Ross Canada. Coco Ross, a very uh, unwieldy acronym, means Community Collaborative Rain, Hail and Snow Monitoring Network. Okay. And following the flood, one of the initiatives that we decided to launch as part of a, a broader ci citizen science initiative was to uh, get some of these gauges and see them distributed throughout our basin, at least initially, and then hopefully it'll spread into other parts of Alberta. But the, uh, the gauge is... is uh, it's quite simple. It mounts on a fence post, mm -hmm. uh, measures uh, rain, as you can see, with the interior cylinder. In the wintertime, you take the interior cylinder out mm -hmm. and just leave this outer cylinder up, and it measures snow thusly. Uh, and um, the, uh, the gauges will, and people with a gauge are assigned a station number, and then they enter their data online. There's a Coco Ross uh, network that actually covers all of North America. There's Currently about 24,000 of these spread through North America, and we're just trying to get them into the Bow Basin. Interesting. So how does this data help with flood mitigation? Well, it's going to help analyze the extent and the nature of specific storms. Um, it, it'll have limited utility as far as forecasting go, goes because we're so close to the mountains. We just unfortunately don't get a lot of lead time, but it may help a little bit there. Uh, p people can report uh, precipita precipitation data early morning here, uh, <laughs> precipitation data at any time. They typically would report between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m., mm -hmm. but if it's a, a, during an active storm, they could be feeding information in. This, the data that's collected is available to everybody online. Any person with a computer can access it. Okay. But throughout uh, Canada and the United States, it's being used a lot by um, government weather report, you know, government uh, like Environment Canada or the National Weather Service in the U.S., okay. they, uh, they um, are becoming increasingly uh, reliant on this data collected by citizen scientists. And are you still looking for citizens, for Calgarians to get involved? Well, our initial uh, group of uh, gauges that are going out are being distributed within our membership of the Bow River Basin Council. We have about 400 members throughout the basin, which is basically from Bow Lake down to just west of um, Medicine Hat. But we will certainly, I mean, anybody can get a hold of Coco Ross Canada and, okay. and acquire one of these gauges. They don't have to do it through us, but we're, we're working with our membership on interesting. that. Interesting. Okay. Uh, interesting project. Thanks for sharing that with us here this morning. And interesting ways that you can get involved here as part of Environment Week. And an interesting statistic, only 3% of Canadians actually donate to environmental causes, uh, though many Canadians do certainly care about it. So raising awareness here this week.